cartridges is really pretty easy. There's only two times to do it, when the ink cartridge is so low that it's reporting empty, or that you feel that you're getting ready to start a long run and you want to make sure that the ink supply on board is enough to satisfy your run. If it is that your any of the ink cartridges runs out of ink while you're printing a job, um, the job will stop. The printer will never do anything that um, that it that it thinks might compromise the health and safety of the printer. So if it's time for me to change an ink cartridge because in fact the printer is reporting to me that it's low, as in this case with the red ink cartridge being low on ink, I would simply press the menu key, navigate to the icon that says ink, say OK, and what I, what I could do first of all is I could um, view the ink levels here and it will let me know exactly, kind of like through um, a gas gauge sort of thing, how much ink is remaining. You can see red is flashing. This is the one that I'm going to be addressing today. So I say OK and what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate down to replace the ink cartridge and I'm going to say OK. So with the routine initiated from the front panel, I can go up to any of these ink cartridges, in this case red, move the blue tab down, maybe you'd heard that audible beep, and bring this forward, and I'm able to take the ink cartridge out of position. You can see that there are the fill ports are here on the back. I also want to point out that there are like a series of plastic tabs or fins on the ink cartridge itself that will prevent anyone from ever uh, putting the wrong ink cartridge into the wrong spot. Um, with a new ink cartridge in hand, it simply goes back into position and slides back in until you hear the click and you hear the printer beep indicating that it has seen and recognized the new replacement ink cartridge. Replacing printheads is super simple, just like replacing ink cartridges. Again, the important part is to start it from the front panel. Come on over and I'll show you how. From the front panel, what we're going to do in order to initiate um, changing the printheads, we're going to go to the menu key. We're going to make sure that we're at the ink icon and we're going to say OK. And we are going to replace the printheads. Now, I want to tell you something before it is that I show you exactly how this looks. What I want to let you know is that once the printhead cartridge is on the platen, um, if it is that you were to um, take a phone call or be away from it, the printer will wait for three minutes. If it has three minutes of inactivity, it's going to try to pull the printhead carriage um, to the right and to the parked position again. It's really important that when you're addressing and working with your printheads that you stay focused and get your job done. So I'm going to say replace printheads and we'll go from here. You can tell when the printhead carriage is to the platen. We'll lift it up and we're going to have a look here. Um, what I want to tell you, in addition to the, the printheads being in this area, this is also where the cutter is and where the internal spectrophotometer is housed. You can also see the ink lines that are full of ink that are continuously replenishing the printheads. Set up the procedure like this. You take this blue lever and you move it forward and disengage this galvanized colored loop. Any of the printheads can be replaced by simply lifting up the blue handle on the printhead and being direct and simply lifting out. It's important when it is that you're inserting a new printhead to never touch any of the electrical points. Uh, you can see on this surface of the printhead, you can see actually the rows of nozzles. And in this instance, I can actually see uh, which nozzles are carrying the light magenta and the light cyan ink. To insert a printhead is simply um, as straightforward as holding the handle, putting the printhead in position, and pressing straight down. Um, making sure that the handle's down, take the blue handle, pick up the galvanized loop again, make sure that it's locked. With the printhead carriage closed, you're ready to close the lid on the printer. The printer will check to make sure that all the printheads are present. 
Um, since it is aware that I've taken out a printhead, what it's going to do next is it's going to actuate a printhead alignment that is required to make sure that my images printed are very, very sharp. The last component of the ink system that we haven't talked about yet is this. It comes in this box. It's, box is called the maintenance cartridge, and it is the it's the device that actually is the area where the print heads are capped. It's the area where the print head will do any sort of cleaning, wiping. Uh, there's a small area um, that look like squeegees for wiping up print heads. Come on in closer and I'll show you how it all works. Like the rest of the components of the ink system, in order to work with the maintenance cartridge, you'll start from the front panel. Go into the menu button navigate to the icon that's representing the ink and say OK. More towards the bottom of the list is information about the maintenance cartridge. If I say OK to this, it's going to let me know the part number for one thing, uh, so when it's time for me to reorder this consumable. It's showing me, in this case, that the status of my maintenance cartridge is OK, but it's showing me a percentage and what this percentage is, is it's indicating to me how full is the cartridge. Unlike the other portions of the ink system, you change this component, the maintenance cartridge, when it is 100% full, meaning that it can't take any more um, fluid from maintaining the ink system. What I'll do now is I will go down and Navigate to replace the maintenance cartridge and say OK. It moves the printhead carriage to the left and it brings forward the maintenance cartridge that I can access by opening this panel here. What I'll do is I'll lift, push, and lift, and I'll bring this forward. Now for sure what I want to tell you is that this might look ooky, OK? Um, it contains liquid, so you're going to want to keep it nice and flat. Um, it's valuable for, um, for you to keep a, a tip or a trick in mind that when you have a, a new maintenance cartridge coming in, it comes in a Mylar bag. Open up that Mylar bag carefully, and then you can put this used maintenance cartridge directly back into the bag that you've just emptied, and that way it'll make uh, managing this component um, very tidy and not messy at all. So this is a brand new maintenance cartridge. It comes with a plastic protective cover on it. I'll just lift up the tape, take this off, and it's ready to go. You can see this one is nice and tidy. Here are the wiper area. Here's the area where the print heads will be capped while I'm not using the printer. And here's an area that can be used for um, expressing droplets. Um, based on the information on the printer, it's actually helping me along as usual with a little video about what to do. It's letting me know that it's time to replace the maintenance cartridge and just close the right door. So this is going to go straight in. I'll hear a little snap. It's nice and tidy. Ready to close it up. So we've covered um, how to change, replace, and check the, the health and replacement of all of the components of the ink system. It's important to understand that the print head um, and all the components of the ink system actually have warranties connected to them. If a consumable is out of warranty, it's going to give a message that it's expired. Here's something that I need you to know. If either a print head or an ink cartridge is expired, it doesn't mean that it's not working well. It doesn't mean that it's time to replace it. What it means is that if that component of the ink system fails, it just won't be replaced as a warranty part. Continue to use those print heads and ink cartridges until they fail. Expired in the world of DesignJet ink doesn't mean that it's spoiled. It's not milk. It's completely ready to go. It's simply out of warranty. So hopefully in review, the most important thing that you know is that in replacing any component of the ink system, you start from the front panel, 
If you lose track at any point along the way, please watch the video from the front panel. With that, both the ink cartridges, print heads, and maintenance cartridge will take care of you and be stable and produce very many prints for you.